Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Sean. Welcome to another video. This one's not a gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be going over the post-patch 1.7 in regards to your clips, your screenshots, tips and tricks on how to manage everything, manage your screenshots, manage your video clips, cleaning things up, make a quick Share Factory video. I am by no means an expert in Share Factory. For my videos, I use just simple iMovie to edit my clips, but there's a, just a few different things that I think will make your life a whole lot easier because I know they make mine a whole lot easier in terms of maintaining your clips. So we're just going to go through that and as well as make a quick Share Factory video. Again, I'm not an expert in Share Factory. Just want to give you some things to get you going with it. Share Factory is not as in-depth as a Final Cut Pro or even iMovie for that matter, but you pretty much can do pretty much anything you want from commentary to adding music to cutting things up splicing things fading effects and all that stuff and again I'm not an expert just want to give you some basic quick um, tips just to get things going with it all right so let's jump into it okay I'm just gonna jump into a game real quick here just to talk about the share button and it is it is kinda of quirky because they have the share button right next to the um, the pad just kinda of annoying so you know let's say we're just playing along here you're supposed to press share once and it's going to record the last 15 minutes of gameplay. Do not rely on that. I know prior to patch 1.7 it almost never worked for me and then actually after patch 1.7 it's not been that bad. So what I'm going to do is you want to double tap it and you really got to be quick on the double tap. I'm going to actually try to get it wrong real quick quick here but hopefully I'll get it right. Alright, so double tap real quick. See, now I didn't do it fast enough so it brought this up. You don't want to do that. You want to really press it real fast, almost look at it. Nope, still again. One more time. There we go. So you wait for that little icon to pop up, and that means we're starting a fresh recording. Okay. Then what you want to do is once you get your clip, you know, let's say we're just whatever, da da da, I'm shooting at nothing. Press once on share, and now choose upload clip. Wait for that video clip save thing to come back up. So then go back into your game, double tap again, and start a fresh recording. That was something that I think I would highly recommend to do because the press once to try to get your last 15 minutes of gameplay almost never works. So let's say something cool just happened. I'm going to press once and there hit upload clip and wait for that video clip save thing to pop up and go back to my game and get on with the game and I got killed. But the key thing that I wanted to just get across to you there is that it's really quirky where they have the, uh, the share button right next to the pad because as you can see for the first time when I tried to just jump into double tapping it to start a new recording, it didn't exactly work out for me. So let's say I'm back in the game, or something cool happened, double press. See, it's it's really quirky. I double pressed and it still brought me here. I'll try again. There we go. So it's recording. Let's say some beast clip just happened. Like I put a turret out, that's great. I'm a, and there we go, kill that guy, he's dead. Now I wanna upload that, so press once press upload clip clip saved we're good to go okay and it's it's pretty much straightforward with screenshots you just press once choose upload screenshot it's saved and you're done so now let's go back into the main menu and we'll just talk about renaming files keeping things clean and just um, keeping things easier for yourself to manage when you go into share factory okay so now we're back out at the main menu and uh, we just, re just recorded some clips so now we're gonna go into capture gallery and this it wasn't really so obvious to me when I first started doing all this so I thought everything had to be done in the share menu where you actually would, would upload a clip and right now currently we could just upload things to Facebook and that's it but let's go into capture gallery because here's where we're gonna manage everything so we go to capture gallery let's go to kills on Shadowfall now when you record clips it's gonna name them for you and it's basically going to be real confusing. And this is where I really suggest you want to clean things up, okay? So if you go to options, you can do a couple things. You can copy to USB, delete. But what I didn't know until recently is if you go to information, then you can rename things. So we're going to rename this thing uh, quick clip. back out and there we go I highly suggest doing this because we go into share factory you're gonna see that having this all cleaned up and things named like here I got slums one objective slums two objective it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier when you go into share factory so back out of this 
and you basically can do the same exact thing with your screenshots. It's going to name them all for you. So here we can just preview it. There's a guy standing on top of an air drone I caught, which I thought was pretty funny. And uh, once again, you go to options. You can bounce it to USB. You can delete things. You can uh, also rename them. You can select everything. Bounce them all to USB. Delete all of them. You know, do whatever you want. And I just uh, highly suggest this whole cleanup process because uh, before I realized you could do all this after patch 1.7, I just had a plethora of tons of screenshots, videos, all this stuff with all these, you know, pre named things Call of Duty Ghost 2014. Da, 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 da. So with that, let's just jump into Share Factory and make a quick clip. Okay, so we're going to jump into Share Factory right now. And again, by no means, this is not going to be a full tutorial. Just to get basics on what you can do with it. This is basically what I did for my first uh, sniper montage. If you go back, maybe like two, three weeks ago, um, it's called just Kill Zone Sniper Montage. And I, I used everything with Share Factory to do it. So let's jump into a new project. Now, they're going to have some basic themes here that are pretty straightforward. I'm, I'm assuming all these blank spots... Below this are going to be room for more, for more games as new content comes out. But for now, I'll just stick with the PS4 theme. So here's where it comes to the naming of the files and keeping everything nice and clean, which is going to help you. So whatever's checked off is what's going to be put into your project. So because of that theme we chose, it selected the intro. You could put a title in here that you can put your name or, you know, put the title. You can edit things on there text-wise and an outro. So let's just get rid of the middle part. We just want an intro and outro just as a goof. So here, if you press R2, you can actually see what's in the clip here. Or if you, um, I think if you press L2, yeah, you can actually watch the whole clip in full screen. But don't worry about that now. But here goes back to the naming thing, because before I realized that little thing of going into options and then into information with changing names, all of my files look like this. Killzone Shadowfall 2, 0, da, 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 da. It was a real annoying, especially when you just, you know, have tons and tons of clips. So let's just pick one here, um, Slums Objective. So we got Slums Objective, we got the intro and the outro chosen, and we're going to go square to start our project. Uh, I'm not going to rename it for now. So it brings us to the screen. Now, here's where you use your touchpad. If you press the touchpad once, it's going to start playing. Then what you do is if you use your finger to just swipe across the touchpad, it'll move along with your fingers. So here I'm going back. And, and here I'm going forward. So it makes for easy swiping. And then if you want it just to play again, you just press pad once. So let's say we want to cut out this intro part here. So what we do is we want to find the area where we want to start from, which is about here. Now, I'm going to press square to go into tools. And there's a whole bunch of things here. We're not going to really get into most of them. I'm just going to go into the splitting, uh, the commentary part, and the edit music part. So let's talk about splitting. So it, it's the simplest way for you to get your clips together and organize. So we choose split. So now the buttons change, uh, change function. So now X is going to be to actually perform a split, and square is going to be to delete something. So let's say we want to start our clip right here. Okay, We just press X to do the split. So now there's a split there. And now I could just hover over with the touchpad over to this clip I don't want anymore. And I simply hit square. It's going to confirm if you want to toss it. And there you go. So now I'm just going to start playing it again. And let's say, that, all right. You know, he just walked into his objective, and this is kind of boring. I want to do another split because I'm still in split mode. Because look at the X icon all the way down on the left. It's still in split mode. So we're going to do another split. X. Confirm split. Yes. Okay. Now that um, is a small section, but let's say we want to get rid of all this stuff here. So we get into some action. Actually, we'll get rid of me getting killed. <laughs> How about that? I'm keep scrolling here, and we'll get to right here. I want to start it here. I'm going to split it, and then I'm going to swipe back over this part. I'm still in split mode, so I'm going to use square to throw that thing in the garbage. Now, we're still in split mode here because X is going to split something, and square is going to throw it in the garbage. So we want to use circle to back out. Now we're in the main menu. So here is where you can uh, start to do other things. Let's, uh, let's go into square, which is going to be your toolbox again, where we went into split clip. Um, and here's where you can do some other things. You can add other clips. You can trim clips. I'm not really good with the trim clip thing. I, I was just doing a lot of splitting and, um, and, and just dumping the clips before and after. Don't worry about that. Here, if we want to adjust the clip volume, you go here, and you're going to use L, your L uh, stick, to raise it and lower it. And just do circle. No, actually do X when you get it, and that's fine. Okay. Now let's do something else. Let's go to um, add commentary. So now here where 
it's something that I can't do, but if you had a microphone, yeah, see, uh, you just have to connect a headset, and I believe the Sony Elite wireless chat USB headset works for this, or uh, if you had the PlayStation camera and microphone, you could do all that here, so no device, no worries. But let's do some adding music to it. So I'm going to back out. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to Tools again, which is Square. And let's go to Edit Music. Okay. So let's say we want to put some music uh, right at the beginning here. Okay. So let's get it set up. So it's, it's going to start here. Okay. I'm going to press X. And then it brings you up. These are songs that are built into your PS4 right now. You can, as you can see, bring songs in from the USB import. If you want to preview one of the songs you have here or that you brought in from, uh, from USB, just press R1, I mean R, R2, all right? And R2 again to stop. So we're going to choose that. I'm going to press X. So now that green box that's on the inside is the music, but I don't have it lined up right. So what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to edit the music. So I'm going to go to Toolbar, and no, I'm going to go, all right, I'm going to go X. There we go. No, I'm sorry. I told you I'm not good at this. All right, let's do uh, tools, split music. There we go. Move music. That's what we want to do. I'm sorry. All right, so we're in move music mode now. And if you use the R stick, you can see that little green box there. It's actually sliding the music over. And let's get it so that it's going to start right at the beginning when I'm, I'm walking out right there. So then I press X to confirm it back out again and now we're in edit mode again so let's see how this came out yep and now the music's there and then you know here you could further adjust it and stuff so one thing to keep in mind let me pause this real quick when you're looking at the screen the um sorry the bottom bar is the green bar for music and the the light blue bar is the full clip for some reason, it won't render down to movie if they don't match up for some reason. And that's where you got to go in and you can fine-tune things. So don't worry really um, about that right now. And then if you go to options, that's where you could save your project or you could render it into a movie. And then you're good to go. So that's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to go uh, in-depth in this thing. And, and to be frank, I don't know a lot of the features of ShareFactory because I use iMovie to do all my, my clips or whatever. But... All right, so that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I uh, just wanted to get this up because uh, I was having just a tough time when I first started using ShareFactory and started really getting into sharing clips. I mean, I have an Elgato for recording gameplay, but frankly, it's way easier just to use the PS4 share feature, and I wanted to kind of make it a little bit easier for people who haven't used it before. Things like the fact that if you press share once, it's, it's probably not going to record the last 15 minutes you just played and how you have to double tap to start a new recording, and you saw in my example how quirky it can be when you do that double tap. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a like and a comment, subscribe more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.